What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, checking out the brand new Madoche XC monster that just got revealed coming out of Dark Neo Storm. At this point, I kind of feel like somebody in Konami R&D, maybe their kid plays Madoche or something like this, because you guys might have forgotten, but this is now back-to-back -back sets where Madoche are getting support. Keep in mind that Savage Strike is going to be giving us Madoche Pudding Sessor. That card is ridiculously strong. It's basically a one-card combo, and this is going to be a new XC monster, but this is actually a defensive XC monster. It's nothing like Tierra Masu, so it's a completely different type of card. This is Madoche Teacher um, Glass Souffle, which Glass Souffle, or excuse me, Souffle is kind of like a weird cake type thing. It's really kind of hard to describe exactly what Souffle is, but if you guys know about desserts and stuff, you know that all the Madoches are kind of named after food. Uh, for the longest time, I didn't even know what gelato was until like the European people were like, Cap, that's, that's ice cream. And I'm like, what? Gelato is ice cream? Never heard of it. Anyways, let's check out Madoche teacher glass souffle she is a rank 4 earth fairy monster and um, she has 1800 attack 2500 defense her defense is very important I'll talk about that in a second her attack not so much but uh, her materials are two Madoche monsters so pretty easy to make if you can make tiramisu you can make this the first and second effects are both hard once per turn first effect is a quick effect which is really nice and it's the reason why I think that this is a really good defensive card it says you can detach one XC material from this card uh, then target one face up Madoche monster for the rest of this turn that monster becomes unaffected by monster effects other than its own second effect is if a madoche card or cards is sent to the graveyard while this monster is in the in the monster zone you can shuffle up to two cards from the graveyard into the deck so to me that kind of just seems like a way of triggering I, I guess madoche ticket that would mainly seem like the best application for that but i think a lot of people are going to look at madoche teacher or glass souffle and they're going to instinctively compare it to tier Masu after all they're both rank four and I think a lot of people are going to say that this card is you know incredibly underwhelming they're gonna be like man cap G this card is trash confirmed Tierra Masu has a better effect it's much more powerful it's got better attack values and you know the card's like six years older and don't get me wrong is this card as powerful as Tierra Masu no but that doesn't mean that this card is useless what people don't understand about the um, glass souffle is that this card actually gives something it gives Mildoche a play that they really didn't have before it lets them go into an xc monster turn one and actually have some interaction with their opponent let's say that their opponent does try to target this or if your opponent would try to target one of your monsters with i don't know maybe a farfa or you know like a fairy tale snow or something like that this actually lets you stop that and that's the thing about madoche queen terra Mas uh, masu yeah she's amazing her non-targeting removal is obviously like the bee's knees when it comes to getting cards off your opponent's side of the field. But Tiramisu is not really a card that you want to put on the on the on the board if you're going first. This is a card that not only can you put on the board turn one, but if you happen to have Madoche Chateau, this is now a three thousand booty that your opponent is almost almost certainly not going to be able to kill in battle. And now you kind of have that fell grand type effect or that rank ten Dora effect, not just for herself but for other monsters as well well meaning your opponent's going to have to use like spells or traps and let's be real right now ain't nobody playing regeki no one's playing you know like dark hole or kaiju slumber or anything like that outside of crusadia so i kind of feel like this does actually fit a little niche uh like spot in the deck like i think that it will be a legit one of the second effect again I believe that it's mainly used to just trigger Madoche Ticket in. From what I've actually seen on Reddit, there's a way that you can just open with Pudding Sessor and you actually end up getting, if you don't use Magellan, you get like, I believe, double rank 4 XCs. Plus, you end up getting like Sistart turn 1s. Also, keep in mind, you can still, on your opponent's turn, turn this into the Madoche Chocolate a la mode. So, it's not like you have to keep this card with the really low stats during your opponent's turn when obviously you're probably trying to go more offensive. I kind of feel like, again, this card does serve a purpose in the deck and now madoche actually have a go-to xc monster for going first which they never really had before and let's be real just about every deck in Yu-Gi-Oh kind of wants to go first unless you're playing like crusadia or cyber dragon so even though this card isn't nearly as good as tiara masu and i don't know if they're if they're ever going to be able to top tiara masu it does kind of hold a spot in the deck and i think that it's a very valuable piece of support so whatever you guys think leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos.